Hey guys, my name is Shai, and this is going to be a quick and simple pick a card where I'm going to just offer you these different cards from the TLC for the Soul deck, and all I'm going to do for the reading is flip the card over and read the channeled message on the back, because I often reach for this deck when I feel like I could just use an uplifting message from somewhere, and these cards never let me down. They always bring some light into my day, and that's basically what I want to do here. So go ahead and pick the message that is calling out to you, and the timestamps will be down below. Okay, card number one. Destiny delivers. Wow, honestly guys, <laughs> I've had this deck for about a year and I use it all the time and I don't think I've ever seen this card, which I didn't even notice that until I picked it up just now. Um, that's incredible. So <laughs> suffice to say, there's there's an initial message here that this destiny delivers whatever is surprise is coming for you, that it's going to be something that maybe it was right under your nose this entire time, or maybe you just think to look in a place that you haven't looked before and it's right there. This is a surprise kind of coming out of, no, of nowhere, but then you're kind of feeling, wow, how did I not notice this before? Destiny delivers. And we have this beautiful waterfall, this pink blossom cherry tree. All right, let's see what the message is. I've never heard this before, so I'm just as excited as you are. <laughs> what you see is only part of the story that is unfolding for you. You've been visualizing, praying, and taking action, and yet everything remains the same. The more you push forward trying to make things happen faster, the greater is your inner resistance. Release your control, and as you let go, you will open yourself up to receive generous divine bounty. All the small acts of kindness you've offered to those in need have created a channel of good experiences to flow to you. Wonderful surprises, unexpected manifestations, and blessings will be on their way to you now. You are being acknowledged for acting as an angel to others. Excellent, excellent, excellent. I love it. I feel like that was a message for me as well because... I can't believe I have not seen that card <laughs> the whole time I've had this deck. So thank you for tuning in, guys. We're going to move on to card number two. Okay, card number two. Dragonfly, cherry blossoms, and the message here is always accompanied. Do you know that you are loved by a benevolent source, one who knows you and cares for you without reservation? The divine is showing up for you in various forms, no matter where you find yourself. It may occur in the form of sharing fondness with faithful friends or in any of the various other diversified forms of all life. Such as, you ask? Ah, a keen-sighted dragonfly darting around you, or sunshine lighting up a crude pathway through a dense forest, or an encouraging word from a stranger at the moment you need it most. Remove the lenses of indifference and disbelief. As you open yourself to seeing more than meets the eye, you will notice the amazing abundance of signs affirming your direction. Step into wonderment and behold yourself embraced by the divine. Message number three, speak it into being. We have this beautiful white lawn chair on this grass. It looks like someone's sitting on the beach. Maybe they just got off of, off, up off of their chair to go for a swim. <laughs> speak it into being. Speak words of jubilant affirmation into your life. You can create happiness through an inner state of mind first. 
Practice by repeating to yourself, I accept good in every form, or I am well loved, or everything works out for me. In planning for your future, start where you find yourself right now. Outer circumstances do not have to define you. Experiment with how different thoughts affect your well-being. Dismiss words that amplify suffering and misfortune. Cast aside the illusion of fate, the belief that your life is predetermined. If you do so, you are no longer living in what could have been, but rather you are entering into the possibilities of what you can become. Card number four, curious rest. Here we are with the tree swing in the meadow. Whether it's the windiest of days or the quietest of days, a little dose of curiosity will go a long way to brighten it up. Lean inward and inquire within your heart if some insights you seem to have suppressed cannot be rekindled. It's only been safely stored away so that now that you are receptive, it can be revealed in the light of today's awareness. There will be a subtle recognition, an inkling, an intuitive understanding of having been heard, even if your mind is still in doubt. Say a quick hello to your wise self then and have a conversation about life's more recent happenings. Do also relinquish the arduous and useless undertaking of trying to fix it or figuring it out. Just be there in delight. Just be there in delight. In delight. Card number five. Here we have a cheetah. Healing through grace. Healing through grace. This card comes up when you've really been doing some deep heart healing. Do you need rest from physical or mental anguish? Respite is forthcoming. An exhausted body frequently tries to persuade the mind to give up hope when faced with lengthy trials. However, the virtues that are already growing within your soul may still be hidden from your ordinary vision. Such qualities would be our perseverance, tolerance, and self-discipline. There is always a purpose to your pain, and an inner lessening of it will surely happen, but only if you are open to it. When you finally yield to self-compassion by releasing dread, you will be admitted to the divine's healing hands of grace. <sighs> Since I have drawn this card many times, I just want to highlight here. The key is yield to self-compassion. Yield to self-compassion and release dread. Yield to self-compassion. That's the key here. Card number six. Peaceful soul. Wouldn't you like to be there? on this hammock by the beach, right on the beach by the ocean. I don't remember what the message on the back of this card is, but I just feel like you can be there even if you're not there, right? You can have this feeling of being there. You can have that. You can find it within yourself. You can find this sense of peace right here, right now, wherever you are. Your soul is a refuge of peace. If something is not in alignment with who you are, ask yourself, am I willing to accept what is being presented to me? If that is not the case, ask, am I prepared to change what needs changing? Sometimes what shows up is not yours to heal. It is often better to send up a prayer for help to your divine friends. Always remember that gratitude for what you already have serves as the ultimate tonic for soothing your fearful heart. Card number seven, seek understanding. 
Look at this gazebo here. I think of this as the gazebo of wisdom. And you know what? This, this gazebo lives inside of you, right? Journey inward, journey inward. Have that hermit moment to go inward and find the wisdom and understanding that is already inside of you. Words may be used by you as a calming bomb in the face of antagonism. Yet your skills as a cooperative listener will also be needed at such times. Nothing is ever meant to break your spirit. Rather, it is meant to liberate you from false ideas you may be holding about yourself. What you are in need of learning is to meet opposition with love rather than to shrink in the face of it. Tackle the situation directly and with common sense while also keeping to an honorable measure of compassion for the other. Renewal is underway. Card number eight, willingness to grow. I'm not sure if this is a crane or a stork. I don't think it's a heron. But this bird is about to take off, stretching its wings, ready to fly. You know, this says willingness to grow. I think this could also be willingness to fly. <laughs> Outer voice is declared, don't leap, hold back. They challenge us, how can you be sure you'll make it? Yet inner voices are your soul and spirit whispering, leap, because they are privy to the ways of the divine. They know that a net has already been placed to catch you. Yet you continue to dither between the here and the there, wondering, what was I thinking? It is fear that is trying ever more insistently to seduce you back into habitual surroundings. Pay it no attention. Your journey toward greater fulfillment has long ago started. Yeah, you guys, big message here. Don't give in to fear. Take the leap of faith. Take the leap of faith. It's not as big of a risk as you think it is. Take the leap, okay? Your path is already laid out before you. Take the leap of faith and go for it. <sighs> All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. Sending you so much love and light. Bye.